Story recapped here. Today I'm gonna explain a horror, mystery, and sci-fi film called The Faculty. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. A big football game is coming up at Harrington High School, making Coach Willis agitated as he shouts insults at his team. His star player Stan is about to confront him about it, but ends up letting it go after one of his teammates pulls him away. Enraged, the coach flips the bench, and the field sprinkler suddenly activates. Then, while he tries to cover the spraying water, someone comes up to him from behind. After a faculty meeting that night, the principal, Miss Drake, returns inside the school to retrieve her keys, when suddenly, Coach Willis intercepts her. He starts acting weird, complimenting her and looking for a pencil, so Miss Drake thinks he must be drunk. However, Coach Willis is adamant about getting a pencil. When Miss Drake hands him one, he drives it straight into her palm, so she retaliates by scratching him with her keys. She then ends up dropping them as they struggle, and although she manages to run away, she finds all the exits locked. She goes to the science room to escape through a window, but the coach catches up to her when she fails to open the window all the way up. So she takes a nearby glass and smashes it on his head, and grabs a pair of scissors on her way out. In a panic, she runs back to the main entrance and sees Mrs. Olsen, one of the teachers. She immediately asks for help, but both don't have the keys to the padlock. When Mrs. Olsen suggests leaving to get help, Miss Drake pleads for her to stay while she gets her keys. Unfortunately, although she successfully retrieves them, Coach Willis is already catching up from behind. At the last second, Miss Drake gets outside and tries to lock the coach in, also kicking away the scissors she dropped so that he can't attack her. However, Mrs. Olsen takes the scissors and repeatedly stabs her. The next day, things seem to be as normal as they can be, as if nothing wrong happened the night before. In the teacher's lounge, the other faculty members notice that Coach Willis has been drinking water excessively, but they just chalk it up to a football pregame ritual. Meanwhile, the bullied kid and school newspaper photographer Casey comes across an odd species on the football field. Intrigued, he keeps it in his pocket and shows it to their science teacher, Mr. Furlong. They inspect the unknown species and find out that it's a pelagic organism. Surprisingly, Zeke, the school's repeater and troublemaker, shows interest in it and exhibits in-depth scientific knowledge, even taking over Mr. Furlong's inspection. Realizing that Casey probably found a new species, the teacher tells him that they'll bring it over to the university for research. The organism then gets wet when one of the guys accidentally knocks over a beaker, causing it to move and leaving everyone in awe. They bring it over to the aquarium and see it swimming, revived to its full state. Mr. Furlong tries to feel it again, but before he can touch it, the organism replicates itself, and one bites his finger. On the other hand, Stan has had enough of football and confronts Coach Willis about quitting so he can focus on his academics. Surprisingly enough, the coach doesn't get angry, much to Stan's confusion. Nonetheless, he's happy to be out of the team. When Stan uses the showers, he's surprised by Mrs. Brummel, who looks worse for wear, her skin drying up. Stan then shouts, alerting Casey, so he orders him to get help. However, when Stan tries to comfort Mrs. Brummel, a chunk of her scalp and hair fall out. Afterward, Stan asks if Mrs. Brummel is okay, but Mrs. Olsen tells him that she passed away because of cancer. She then asks Stan and Casey to keep quiet about it, and they both agree. Meanwhile, Zeke sells drugs and adult materials in the parking lot, so Miss Burke tries to lecture him. However, her gentleness makes it easy for Zeke to pick on her. Casey meets up with Delilah, the head cheerleader and editor-in-chief of the school paper. She then brings Casey inside the faculty lounge to look for dirt against the faculty members, which they'll expose in their newspaper. Suddenly, Mrs. Olsen and Coach Willis come inside, so the two hide in the closet. They overhear a suspicious conversation between the teachers about the rest of the faculty being commuted, and soon, the rest of the student body will be too. They also mention that Mrs. Brummel didn't make it because her body was too old and the heat got to her. Moments later, the school's nurse comes inside, so the coach and Mrs. Olsen corner her, pin her down, and put a parasite in her ear. Casey and Delilah start to panic, backing away from the closet door, but Delilah hits the shelves and accidentally finds Mrs. Brummel's body, causing it to fall. Coach Willis opens the closet door, and the two hit the teachers as they flee. They come across Miss Drake, so they desperately ask for help, but she acts like she doesn't understand what they're talking about. Upon realizing that there's something wrong with all the faculty members, the two continue running. Casey calls the police and returns to school with his parents, telling them everything they witnessed, but nobody believes him. Then, when they check the closet, they find a resuscitation doll, making it seem like Casey is just looking for attention. 
He tells them to call Delilah, but apparently she isn't home. When Miss Drake talks to one of the cops in private, Casey realizes that they got the police too. Because of the embarrassing act, Casey's parents ground him, thinking he needs a psychologist. He then tries to sneak out and finds the faculty members in front of their house. But when his dad catches him, they disappear. The next day, Delilah and Casey argue about what's going on because she thinks they should go to the police. But Casey is against it after seeing what happened the day before. However, the faculty members are starting to get the students one by one, calling them to the office for an ear checkup. While Delilah looks for her boyfriend Stan, Casey asks for help from Stokely, the school outcast. Casey fills Stokely in with every detail, and she finds their situation similar to the sci-fi books that she's read. Although she's just joking, Casey starts thinking that they might actually be dealing with aliens of some sort. But even if Stokely doesn't believe Casey's theory, she entertains the idea because she thinks it's cool. On the other hand, Zeke gets approached by some students wanting to buy some of his drugs. Although he entertains them at first, he soon finds it suspicious that they're trying to buy everything he's got, so he hides the rest in his pocket. Then, Miss Burke comes up to Zeke, and she is noticeably different. Instead of being the same reserved teacher, she berates and embarrasses him in front of other students. Stan, Delilah, Stokely, and Casey meet up in the science lab, looking for the species that Casey found, but it's now missing. They tell Stan about their suspicions, but he finds the alien theory ridiculous. While they argue, Zeke comes in with Marybeth, the new girl, after they overhear their conversation about aliens and laugh at them. Then suddenly, Mr. Furlong shows up and confronts them. So Zeke tells him that Casey thinks the faculty members are aliens. They ask him where the species is, but it's already been sent to the university. Zeke tries to leave, but Mr. Furlong stops him and shoves him to the ground. They try to attack him, but he grabs Casey by the neck and pushes Delilah away. Zeke then takes the blade off the paper cutter and slashes his hand, but Mr. Furlong's severed fingers just start crawling towards the others. Mr. Furlong is about to infect Zeke, so he stabs him in the eye with one of his drug pens, which immediately works and subdues him. Before they leave, Casey takes the parasite that came out of Mr. Furlong for evidence. The group immediately leaves the lab, planning to run away, and they see all the students acting weird and staring at them. Zeke then drives away, ignoring the cops blocking the road before finally reaching his house with the other students. They enter Zeke's drug den and see all kinds of lab equipment. Casey then gives him the species he collected so they can inspect it, and he makes it invade a lab rat's body before killing it. After that, Zeke dissects the animal and discovers that the species is a parasite that attaches itself to a host and then controls it. Furthermore, the parasites need moisture to survive, which is why Mr. Furlong died because Zeke's drug is a diuretic and it dried out the parasites inside him and killed them. So they all turn to Stokely, a sci-fi nerd, and ask her what they can do. Stokely then theorizes that there must be a queen parasite connected to the rest of the parasites. If they eliminate the queen, they can save the school. However, Delilah isn't buying it because there's no proper basis to prove it, so she suggests that they leave town. Casey argues that it only took the parasites a day and a half to overrun the high school, so they'll never be able to outrun them. With fighting being the only option, Stan points out that one of them could be an alien, so they start to suspect each other and point out each other's odd behavior. To control the situation, Zeke proposes that they all take a hit to prove that they're not infected. Although they all decline at first, they take it one by one, starting with Casey, who gets instantly high. Because Zeke won't take the drug himself, Stan takes a gun from Zeke's table and points it at him. But soon enough, all the guys prove that they're not infected after taking a hit. Stokely protests at first, but eventually takes the drug. And even though Marybeth says she can't take it because she's allergic to aspirin, Zeke and Delilah still force her to do it. Marybeth then takes it before Delilah follows. And that's when Delilah drops the pen. As it turns out, there are already parasites inside Delilah. Stokely takes the gun from Casey and starts shooting Delilah, who's trashing Zeke's equipment. They chase her outside, but a taxi driver picks her up to escape. They drive back to the school to find the queen parasite, theorizing that it might be Miss Drake because she's the principal. They then regroup at the gymnasium, but Miss Drake follows them, ordering them to come with her because the gymnasium is closed. Without warning, Stan tackles her to the ground, and Zeke helps capture her with a volleyball net. Stan then points a gun at her while Casey tells her to sniff the drug, but Miss Drake doesn't want to sniff it. Running out of time, Casey threatens to plunge it into her eye, but he chickens out at the last second. So Zeke doesn't hesitate to take the gun from Stan and shoot the principal. At first, they think they made a mistake, but when the parasites get out of Miss Drake's body, Maribeth throws the entire drug supply onto the principal. 
Although Miss Drake is indeed infected, they still don't know whether they got the queen. So Stan offers to go outside to check out the situation. Before he leaves, Stokely grabs and kisses him, revealing how much she likes him. Stan then runs to the football field and finds the coach, alongside the team still infected. Moments later, Stan goes back to the group, but Zeke won't let him in until he proves he isn't infected. They then hand him another drug pen through the door, but instead of taking it, he throws the contents out, wasting their supply. Realizing that he's been infected, they all walk away from the door. Now that they're unarmed, Zeke takes Casey with him to get more drugs from his car. They make their way through the parking lot, but they encounter the football team. Then, while hiding under the bus, Casey volunteers to be a decoy while Zeke makes a run for his car. When Casey hides inside the school bus, he gets cornered by Delilah and the football team, but luckily escapes through the emergency roof hatch and runs away. Meanwhile, Zeke searches through his trunk but can't find any more drugs. Then, when he closes the trunk, he sees Miss Burke, aware that she's infected and trying to entice him. Fortunately, he sees more drugs near the gear shift, so he immediately goes inside the vehicle. However, Miss Burke follows him by forcing her way through the window. Zeke drives around in circles and soon crashes into a school bus to get Miss Burke out of his car. He then takes the rest of the drugs with him as he crawls out of the vehicle, injured, and he sees Miss Burke's parasite head crawling to find its body. Despite that, Zeke just chooses to run away while he has the chance. On the other hand, Stokely starts to be suspicious of the new girl, as they talk about pretending to be someone they're not. When Stokely turns to Marybeth, she punches her and shows her true alien form as Casey returns. They try to run, but the queen alien quickly chases them through the pool and grabs Stokely. She hits her head and gets pulled into the water, but Casey pulls her out before the alien can eat her. Casey and Stokely hide inside the locker room as Marybeth, who's once again in her human form, hunts them. Meanwhile, Zeke finally returns and encounters Marybeth and Stokely, who both claim that the other one is an alien. But because Marybeth is undressed, Zeke immediately knows that she's the alien. Marybeth then reveals how she faked taking the drugs, so Zeke tries to stab her with the drug pen, but an infected Stokely stops him. Luckily, Casey grabs Stokely away from Zeke and locks her inside the football equipment storage cell. Zeke gives a drug pen to Casey and orders him to sniff it thinking he's also infected. Then, once Casey takes a hit, they start hiding from Marybeth. Unfortunately, the two get separated, and it isn't long before the queen alien throws Zeke across the room, knocking him out. Being the only one left, Casey takes the rest of the drugs from Zeke, while Marybeth tries to lure him out, telling him that her home planet is dying, which is why she escaped to Earth. After failing to locate Casey, Marybeth transforms back into her alien form. Casey then leads it to the gymnasium, where he activates the retracting bleachers as the queen alien continues to follow him. Once he successfully traps the alien behind the stands, he stabs it in the eye with the remaining drug pens, and it spits out parasites with its last breath. The parasites try to take over Casey's body, but they eventually die along with their queen. After that, Casey returns to the locker room to check on Stokely, finding out that she's alive, while the parasites that left her body slowly die. A month later, the school goes back to normal, and everyone has survived. Zeke takes Stan's place on the football team, while Stan starts dating Stokely, who's decided to get rid of her all-black ensemble. Meanwhile, Delilah is now dating Casey, who's been considered a hero for saving their school from aliens. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like, it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.